Hey everyone, Shavuot Tov. Um, we're here. We're back at the Chabad house. We're actually in the Chabad restaurant right now. We came for pizza, of course, because it's Matzei Shabbos. Um, I don't have any pictures to show you. Because hey everyone, Shavuot Tov. Um, we're here. We're back at the Chabad house. We're actually in the Chabad restaurant right now. We came for pizza, of course, because it's Matzei Shabbos. Um, I don't have any pictures to show you because because we ate it so fast. It was so yum, so delicious, fresh. This place is actually closing down, but it was actually packed when we first came in. Um, you could see, look around. Um, this is Mendy, this is Yosef. They're bachelors, they're looking for wives. They, <laughs> they're here at the Chabad house. They make sure everything runs smoothly, the food, everything like that. They're awesome. Contact me. But in all seriousness, they really are awesome. Everybody who is here is awesome. The Rebbitson, um, her name is Sarla Goldschmidt. She is amazing, so nice. A powerhouse, like, it's unbelievable. Just happy and really inspirational, really. So if you're coming to Thailand, which I highly recommend doing, you should definitely make sure if you're gonna be anywhere for Shabbos, be in Koh Samoy for Shabbos. It's really special here. The people here are special. It's amazing, it's beautiful. And Yosef and Mendy. So we're walking up down the street and we found a, I don't even know what you would call it, it's like a pop up club, pop up Thai nightclub. What's going on here? God, there are dogs everywhere in this country just like stray dogs hold on roaming around like cats in your Zion only dogs in Thailand it's pretty crazy they run away from you they don't like come near you but they're everywhere Okay, everyone, we took a one hour boat ride from Koh Samoy to the National Marine Park. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna try to show you this water because it's insane. Can you see that? Can you guys see right into the, oh, there's a fish! There it is so incredibly beautiful. The water is literally, it, it's so clear. The sky is blue. The, there's like these huge rock formations. Can you see that? Okay, we're gonna go snorkeling here, so I'm not gonna be able to Instagram that, but um, a lot of people actually told us to go to Koh Tao instead of National Marine Park, yeah, but we did a lot of research. Yeah, oh my gosh, look, 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 look! Okay, so what I was saying was that we were gonna go to Koh Tao, a lot of people told us to go there, but actually um, we did a lot of research and we heard that the snorkeling by um, National Marine Park was like a little bit better, and also Koh Tao's an hour and a half boat ride, and we did. So we came to National Marine Park, and I have to say, like so far, it's just been an amazing, amazing decision. It is so beautiful here, and we were just really lucky to be here. And the things Hashem Hashem creates is just unbelievable. Okay, update. Supposedly these are shark infested waters. <laughs> there are black chip sharks. They're very, very friendly, and they never ever bite people. So pray for us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. Literally out of a dream. Oh my gosh.
I don't know if you guys could see this. We came to this, I don't know, this beach in the middle of the islands of Marine Park, but there are butterflies everywhere. Leia Bela, mom, this is for you. Can you guys see them? They're so they are everywhere, the butterflies, and they're so beautiful. So gorgeous. I do not think we need to go to the Butterfly Museum. Okay, we're, um, we just hiked up to this mountain to see the Blue Lagoon. This is the Blue Lagoon. That's the ocean out there. This is the Blue Lagoon. It's kind of makes Disney look not as cool. So we're biking through the jungles of Koh Samoy and we came upon a um, Buddhist spirit house that the people who own the land build. Each house represents a different. It's sort of like an offering um, to the Buddha. They do it like for, on the death day of somebody they loved, things like that. And basically Coke realized, and Coke ran a whole marketing campaign in Thailand about how the red of Thai is more, whole, of fam is more holy and all of these like crazy things about, and the, the prices and the sales of red Fanta shot through the roof. And now they're all over spirit houses everywhere just because somebody at Coca-Cola. <laughs> okay, this is a durian field right here. These are all durian trees, but there's no durian because it's not the season. It gets very, very smelly when they pick them and they leave them on the corner of the road for the trucks to pick up. And honestly, it's, it's you cycle. Okay, we just pulled over on the side of the road. All of these trees, every single one of them, you could see those little cups on them. These are all rubber trees and they tap the trees and they literally pull out 100% latex. Look at what he just pulled out of the tree. And it'll just bleed down into the cup. Um, and they'll come down one, all the way down one side of the tree and then they'll come down the other side, the side of the tree. It's about maybe 10 years. And then when they're finished with the tree, they cut it down, they use it to build with it. Okay, so this little house, the guy that lives here, he owns this whole rubber tree farm. And you could actually see back there those things that look like towels um, that are hanging down. Those are actually sheets of pure latex um, that he tapped from his own. Okay, you guys could see I'm pretty hot. We've been riding really, really hard. We're riding from the top of the jungle all the way to the beach. But we're riding now through a very traditional Thai village. Um, very, very old, ancient. And I just need to show you what's going on here. It's really amazing. This is somebody's house. Um, it's the wood is actually made out of coconut tree wood and you could see they even have like their dishes out there drying um, They don't have running water. This is where they get their water from. This is their well actually a young girl sitting out there on her porch This is their spirit house. Oh my gosh. There's a mother out there. Hold on I'm Panning around. Okay, we took a little pit stop at this place sweet sisters cafe our tour guide um, who's been amazing, by the way, told us this, in his opinion, is the best Thai food on the island. It's really local, really organic, so obviously we can't eat anything, but we came to look around. They also have their own garden in the back that he said we have to see. Oh my God, it smells amazing in here. This is gonna be torture for me. Just fresh mangoes. That's how we learn to check. They also have a store here where they make and sell all products that they create basically all from local organic ingredients oh my gosh well look at those pinto boxes those are fancy fancy oh and those pots oh my gosh wow the store is really beautiful oh he told us about this they make all their own probiotic um uh, shampoo and conditioner and bath soaps, face creams. Oh my gosh, this place is really gorgeous. So this is the back of the restaurant where they do a lot of their prep work. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's really beautiful back here. Oh my god. You can't wear shoes out here, but my feet. Oh my gosh, there are roosters out there. Oh my, and I'm not wearing shoes. These pebbles are killing. Okay, wow, look at those. 
Talk about farm to table. Oh my God, more butterflies. Wait, can you see them? Do you see that? Look at that blue butterfly. Wait, when it opens its wings, it's blue. Look, 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 look. Nice, huh? So beautiful.